guys welcome back to my channel it's adrian so today's video is going to be a haul of what i brought from ulta and sephora so if you want to see what i got please keep watching don't touch my hair all right so i'm gonna do a quick little ulta haul of what i got i showed this on my stories if you guys watch my um my shorts then you saw some of this stuff but i've been holding it because i wanted to include it in this video so i can link everything down below for you guys I'm so excited about this stuff. So the first thing I got is I re-upped on this e.l.f. This is the Putty Primer. Nope. Power Grip Primer. I like this one. I have, I had the blue one and now it's the niacinamide one. It works the same to me except this one has skincare in it. Niacinamide is good for your skin. It helps lighten things, hydrates, all that good stuff. So I got this. Speaking of skin, I needed some more Mighty Patches. I get acne, hormonal acne on my chin. So I wanted to be able to, and I put these on here between this and the Mario Badescu's, um drying solution. I'll use that. Um, and there's, a, there's an, another patch I use that's not the Mighty Pack. But I just got these because I saw these as I was checking out the little front area. They always give me every time. So I got these when I was... Um, when I saw these. Next, I got an e.l.f. This is the color corrector um, in orange. I typically use this Milani one, but I had to order this. I think I got this from the Milani's website. I don't know if they sell this in store. So I wanted to be able to get something that everybody can get. So I got the e.l.f. one. I'll see how I'll try this out and see if it's good, if it's not. So we'll see. Sticking with e.l.f., I got both of their new setting sprays. I don't really understand the difference between the two, but um, the green one is the stay all night micro fine setting mist this lasts up to 16 hours and then this was a stay all night blue light micro setting mist this one has long lasting wear so both of these are supposed to be to last pretty long this one says you take your make your makeup from a.m to p.m and with a lightweight set and this one says you lock it down with a lightweight set so i don't know the difference between these two but i got them both i think they were like ten dollars so i got both of these the whole reason why I went to Ulta was to get another good molecules. This is the discoloration serum. I've been, this is like my fifth bottle of this, but instead of me buying the small ones, I just upped it and got the big size. The big size was $25. Hopefully it'll last me uh, longer. So I love this stuff so, 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 so much. This is good for fading uh, post acne scars. I have some on my cheek and my chin. My chin area is always my problem area. So I use this every day. I typically use it in my nighttime routine. Typically, unless I have breakouts that I need to get rid of, uh, dark spots that to get rid of faster, I'll do it morning and night. I also use the hyaluronic acid from Good Serum, Good, <laughs> Good Molecules. The hyaluronic acid is really good and the daily brightening serum. So I use these every single day, which is why I had to re-up on them. So I got all three of these from Good Molecules. Good Molecules is so good, it's so affordable. <sighs> I would love to partner with them and work with them one day. I just absolutely, love their products there's um a couple things that's hit and miss on um, from from that other i purchased i didn't like the foaming acne wash um i didn't like the i don't like the moisturizer but as far as the serums the the bar soap loved it 10 out of 10 i use that every morning um and pretty much all the serums and toners i like from that i've tried and because I like all the serums and the toners, I got the B B5 Hydrating Body Serum. This is for your body. So uh, this one, you're supposed to cleanse and then put your serum on, then moisturize, and then put your SPF on if you're going outside. But it's supposed to be in between to help um, moisturize your body. So it looks like this, the packaging. Um, I don't know how long it's going to last if I use it. Apply on body as a light moisturizer or layer under body lotion for extra hydration. Can be used daily. So I'm excited to put this in my routine. I'll see if I see a difference. If not, I definitely I'll let you guys know if I like it or not. All right, and last but not least, I use this brush every single day to blend out my contour. This is it here, a dirty one and a clean one. This is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I use this to blend out this contour that I use. If y'all watch my Get Ready With Me, you see I use these as like liquid contour i dot them and then i blend it out this blends like a dream best six ten however much dollar this is i had to get another one because i want one for my travel bag and also just to have an extra clean one and speaking of brushes i got another this is a number 12 12 brush by alta i bought this a couple months ago because atia rich told me about it and uh she said she used use it to blend her contour i mean her highlight her what do you call this concealer and i loved it so much i was waiting for it to go on sale she told me to wait till they go on sale like buy one get one free or buy one get one half off but 
I wanted another one. So I just got another one of these. I like this brush a lot. Um, and it was pretty affordable. The last thing I got from Ulta is this Kiss um, Acrylics. These are some nails. I got them in the medium. I was going to do my nails, but I ended up doing them blue anyways. But I was going to do them in a French. But I ended up, I'm going to give this to my daughter because she loves the French manicure. Is what she likes the most. So I may just give this to Akaya because... I have these. That was everything I got from Alta. Now let's go on to Miss Sephora. I must say that this is the most I've ever spent at Sephora at one setting, like the most. And I, um, just to be fair is that I play, I went shopping in store last Friday and I placed three orders online since then that have two more orders that hadn't came in yet. But let's just say I'm already rouged for next year because I dropped a bag in Sephora. But these are things that I needed to re-up and that I wanted to try. And right now, it was on sale, so it made sense. But the good thing is, I really didn't buy perfume. I have all this uh, perfume on my little um, set here. I have a lot of, I'm gonna say a lot of, like the past six months, I have been binge, binge buying perfume. So I, I was happy that I didn't buy any this go round. So the first thing I got was two of the Sephora. This is the strengthening serum, hair serum. You put this on your scalp. I used it, I used it whenever I had my braids. Back up. Originally I used the Way hair serum, the Way one. And that one was $52 for the bottle. Let me show y'all. This is the one I brought originally. This one was $52. This is the Way scalp serum. It's supposed to support thicker and fuller hair. So when I had put my, wore my wig back in February or uh, January, I was putting this on my hair in between my wash days and in between uh, under my braids and my wig, and I liked it. But I just couldn't see myself repurchasing this for $52. But I found Sephora. Sephora has one. This has, um, is it BTN or is this just a? Yes, <laughs> it, the featured ingredients is BTN and PHY. Got lipstick on my teeth. So it has biotin in it and photo, something proteins. This is a strengthening hair serum. I like to use this a lot on my scalp. Um, this says to apply it at night, but I honestly don't do that. I just apply it when I think about it. Uh, I use to apply this on, on in between wash days or on my wash day. So I got two of these while they were on sale. I think they're like regular $15 and it was 20% off because I'm rude. So it made sense to get two. So sticking on way, um, all the girls on TikTok raves about the way body wash the way body cream and the way bath and body scrub but i'm gonna be 1000 percent honest with y'all i don't see myself keeping this to say that i spent oh that smell good this is the saint saint bart's um i want to say that this whole wash thing was like 80 something dollars for these three things that i just i mean it has to really wow me for me to keep this um i want to keep it and I'm open to keeping it, but it needs to wow me for this price because I can go buy a whole bunch of the saltier body washes, the ones that I love for a fraction of the cost of this. So I want to try this out and do a whole dedicated video a review on the body cleanser, the body cream, and the body scrub. So I got that. I like this Polish Choice Exfoliant. This is a liquid, a liquid exfoliate. Um, I brought the mini size of this a couple of, maybe a year ago, and it lasted me a long time. So this has 2% BHA, and this helps unclog pores, any texture that you have, smooth your skin out. I, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Um, I feel like when I wake up in the morning, when I use this, my face is oilier if that makes sense um it doesn't burn whenever you put it on it's just like a you know a nighttime exfoliate so i like this and i got another one of those i got another laura mercier translucent powder because the absolute favorite setting power powder of all times love 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 this so i want to re-up on this speaking of a re-up i got another charlotte tilbury airbrush finish i love this setting spray I did, I did two videos about this, about how I love the one size and the Charlotte. I have two of the one size, so I need another Charlotte as a backup besides my main one. So I got this for the summertime to keep me matte. So, so good. Like, I don't know what she puts in this. It's so good. But this mixed with the one size, chef's kiss. I really want to try this Kat Von D. This is the foundation serum, full coverage serum foundation um, by KVD Beauty. I don't think Kat Von D is associated with this brand anymore. If, if I think right or if I heard right, I really don't know. But it really doesn't matter if she is to me or not. I, I, I actually like, like this brand a lot. Um, so I got this color in the shade 74. So I'm going to try this out. One of my subscribers or followers, I think on Instagram, 
Maybe here on YouTube. Somebody said I had to get this, that this mask was so good. This is the Ajua Beauty Blue Tansy Reparative Mask. Um, this mask by itself was $40. But it was on sale, girl. It was on sale. So I wanted to try. Oh, it's thick. It's a very thick, thick mask. It smells really, really good. But they said that it's it's worth every penny. So I will see how I like about how I like. I haven't tried anything from this brand, so I'm excited to try this out. All right. So next, I got the Makeup by Mario. This I I had eyed this, and then I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get it. And then I was like, No, I won't. Then I was like, No, I'm not gonna get it. I got it. <laughs> So this is the, I think the, oh, this is the Master Mattes palette. So this is the palette by Makeup by Mario. It's the everyday palette that, are, that is, you know, matte. I typically don't wear eyeshadow, but honestly, this palette was just beautiful. And this was the last one on the shelf. Um, so I was like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe try and tell me something. So I don't have an all matte palette like this. So, and I don't, I don't own anything from Makeup by Mario, so I'm happy to try this out and see my thoughts on it. I got another one of the Hourglass Concealers. Y'all know I talk about this all the time. I have it on today. Absolutely love this concealer. I am in the shade Maple. So, speaking of One Size, I was saying earlier, this is the newest primer from One Size um, Beauty. This is the Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. I had to get this because I knew that the setting spray was so good and I'm an oily girl. Like I get really oily around here, especially summertime. So I wanted to try try this out. This is a very pretty small size to me. It's only, it's a one fluid ounce. I got the uh, Micro Smooth Powder powder by Sephora. I got the color Mahogany. This is to set my whole face. I wanted to get another one of these. I used it some years ago. I liked it. I don't know why I didn't repurchase it, but I got it this time. All right, so Huda Beauty came out with a glow, glow-ish line. This is a luminous pressed powder setting. I follow a girl on here in uh, TikTok, I believe, and she uses this to set her under eye. Mina is her name. She uses this to set her under eye, and it's always so pretty. She's um, she's darker than me, but it looks so good on her, so I want to try it out to see if I like it. So I'm keeping the packages on this. I'm usually not a girl that likes a glowy under eye, but her makeup is flawless. So I wanted to try it out and see. I got the shade medium tan, number six. And because Huda Beauty, this is their new line, I wanted to try their highlighter. This is um, the Glowish Soft, Ra Soft Radiance. Oh, this is a bronzing powder. This is a bronze. I thought this was the actual, um, I thought this was a highlighter. My, my camera's about to overheat. This is what the, this is what it looks like here. And last two things I got, I got Makeup by Mario. This is their lip, this is his, this is his new lip glosses. I got the shade Soft Nude, Soft Nude, and the shade Barely Pink here. So I got both of those nude looking colors uh, for my lips. And last but not least, I got this from Milk Makeup. This is called, this is Kickball. This is supposed to be, you can use this like as an inner corner highlight. Again, the girl Mina, who I follow, uses this. It's a really, really pretty gold shadow here. Let me try it out really quick. It'd be a inner corner highlight. This is what she uses it as. Oh, this is pretty. Actually, it looks good with my pink. Can you see that? That's pretty. Um, so this is a color chalk. Is what this is but that's everything that i got from the sephora sale hold on girl i got two other things oh this is some samples the joe malone sample and a grow vitamin sample but this will complete this video if you guys enjoyed it please be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel on your way out and i will check you guys out in my next video bye